and who called today's market sell-off and the drop yesterday as well. Mr. Ronald Reagan's budget director, David Stockman. All right, David, look, you can take a victory lap if you like, but I don't think you'll be very popular. Right. But you did say on this program and elsewhere that if Ben even hints that he's going to quit printing money or slow it down, down we go on the stock market. You were right. Yeah, well, that was the theme of my book. The Fed has become a serial bubble machine, uh, that it's run by people who live in the world of the bubble blind. Bernanke proved that yesterday when asked, do you see any signs of bubbles in the U.S. economy? He said, I don't think so. Hmm? When he was asked, do you think interest rates are too low? He said, yeah, that's because the economy's weak. I say, really? You have your big fat thumb on the market, on the scale. You've decreed the overnight rate will be zero for six years. That's not the market. That's the Fed. The uh, five-year bond yesterday was 80 basis points. That's not the market. That's the Fed buying half of the new flow that's coming into the market every so, day. So month. he is the market. So I mean, he, he the, there the market. is no market. Uh, price discovery has been destroyed. Interest rates simply are trading the flow of liquidity and the flow of words and the word clouds out of the Fed. They <laughs> trade it by the second. This is dangerous. It's artificial. It's reckless. And there are huge bubbles. The market well, today... Okay, look, the market's down. Over 100 points on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Yes. Is this the start of things to come? I think it may be the beginning beginning of a correction and just on time two days ago Goldman put out the cattle call come to the slaughter the market's cheap it's time to get in it's going to 2100 well, on the uh, S&P now the point is here here's the truth the truth is the only thing that that is an honest earnings number is the trailing 12 month gap number because that's put uh, into the SEC by CEOs and CFOs who are so, under okay, law. Hold on a now, second. I want to tell you what no, it is. But I've got to explain it to you. But, I've but, got to explain to the audience. You said trailing gap. That doesn't mean much to okay. most people, certainly not to me. All what right. you're talking about is the profits which have already been reported yes. by big companies. Right. For not only that, though, Stu, we you, know what it is. The market actually trades on non gap numbers. Well, of and course, saying, I know that's the dishonest part uh, about that, this. That's the I know you don't like jargon, but I think that yeah. what I'm trying to clarify yeah. is what, yeah. what David is saying that there are two sets of numbers. The real numbers, which are reported to the SEC, and then the numbers when you exclude things that you say, well, this won't ever happen again. This was an anomaly. This would be a number. And, and, and while it sounds crazy, that's exactly what the market trades on. But you say it you say Yeah, it let's take the difference. That. The market is trading on $110 of forward earnings. Actu and that's the uh, X items. That's with all of the uh, losses and right. inconvenient items excluded. Actually, the trailing EPS ending in March, the last 12 months, was $87, and here's the point. So you're saying the market's overvalued. That's all, you're, all of this you're getting to the point is that times. the market is overvalued yeah. using traditional valuation. Right, measures. 19 right. times trailing, but here's the more important point. It's been at $87 for six quarters in a row on a trailing basis. The only thing the market is uh, pricing is uh, ben you know, Bernanke. fantasy right. Bernanke so fantasy this is this earnings. is fluff Dow yeah. 15,200 is fluff it's it a, should not be there it right. should be much lower right. and you think it's going much lower yes because if you look at October 207 we were exactly at this point 1560 1570 interday high on the S&P 500 Forward earnings were cheap, allegedly, $110 a share, the same one as we have today. Trailing was 19 times backwards. Can I just say one okay. thing? Okay. Still? Okay. I, I, you see what I'm saying? In other words, don't we, confuse. Whatever you say, don't I'm confuse. I'm not trying me. to confuse anyone, but here's the point. <clears throat> you know, 2010, we had a 12% correction in April. Uh, 2011, a 16% correction. Last year, we had a 9% correction. Consequently, the market turned around to go up 17, 13, and 9% each time. So, what are you telling the audience? Uh, to brace for a small correction and weather the storm or sell everything and batten down the hatches? I would say we're at the same point we were 13 years ago. Uh, the market is way overvalued. So a, 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 a crash, a big time crash. It, it took us in 2007 when we hit this same day. Remember in October 2009 there well, was a key reversal just like yesterday. It took seven months for the market to eventually crash, but it never uh, uh, exceeded the October 2007 right. high. Look into that yeah. camera. <laughs> yeah. Look into that camera. All and right. You tell our viewers, sell everything 
or hold on? Which is it? I would say get out of harm's way. This isn't a real market. The Fed doesn't know what it's doing. It's going to be changing its mind by the hour and the second. The market is going to be schizoid. You're going to go for a roller coaster ride. If you enjoy that, stay in. Uh, if you're prudent and you're cautious and you don't trust what these guys are doing, if you think the Fed is off the deep end, get so. out of harm's way. I think I got it. <laughs> Just for the record, I, I disagree. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My head's exploding. I don't disagree about the Fed, but I, I think people... All right, everybody, thank you very much indeed. David <laughs> Stockman, thank Great. you very much thank indeed, you. sir. All right.